Today, I'll be giving you my top 10 teams in the MLB right now. What's up, guys? It's Tom here. Welcome back to the channel with MLB releasing their power rankings right before spring training starts. I figured I'd take a look at them, see their top 10 teams, and then give my ranking of the top 10 teams in the MLB right now. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more MLB content. I think I'll be doing a power ranking series. We'll start by kicking it off before the season starts, and then maybe a month or two into the season, we'll revisit it and do another rankings, see who's doing hot, who's doing cold. So you don't want to miss that, so make sure to subscribe to the channel we'll start by looking at MLB's rankings so number one they have the Dodgers number two Padres number three Yankees number four Braves number five Mets number six White Sox number seven Twins number eight Blue Jays number nine Rays and number 10 Astros my initial reaction to this list is the Dodgers and Padres are I think in the right spot they're both going to be really good and they're really good on paper. Number three, the Yankees, I think are a little high. Then you got the Braves and the Mets. I think those two are interchangeable. I think they're going to be just as good as each other in that NL East. The top spot's going to be very competitive. Then six and seven, you got the White Sox and Twins battling it out in the AL Central. So now let's get into my rankings. Things that are unchanged are the top two teams, the Dodgers and Padres. Like I just said, I think those teams are in the right spot. I think the number three team in the MLB right now are the Braves. I think they're all around a very solid team. Their lineup's very good. Their rotation's very solid. And also their bullpen is pretty good as well. So no glaring flaws and just all around a great team. And then number four, we have the Mets. At the number five spot, I have the Yankees. I moved the Yankees down from the number three spot because I think their rotation is a little iffy. Like it definitely has the potential to be very, very good with Kluber and Tyone. I just don't know how good they're going to do. They're going to have Domingo Herman back and then Davey Garcia. Both of those guys should be studs for them. But I just moved them down because I don't know what Kluber or Tyone I'm going to get. Regardless of what I just said about the rotation, I still think they're going to be the best team in the AL with Judge and Stanton healthy. They're going to be deadly. At number six, I have the White Sox. That doesn't change from MLB's list. The bats are going to be very solid. They're rotation is going to be very solid. I just don't think the rotation will have as much depth as the rest of the teams I just mentioned. You're going to have three really good starters. And then after that, you're going to have some question marks. It's going to be either Carlos Rodon, Dylan Cease, Michael Kopech, but you're going to have Giolito, Keuchel, and Lynn leading that rotation. So they'll be in good hands. And then I think the bullpen will be very solid as well with Liam Hendricks and all of the fireballers that they have in that pen. At number seven, I have the Toronto Blue Jays. I think they're going to be very good because of their lineup. That lineup lineup will probably carry them. Their rotation will have Hyunjin Ryu, Robbie Ray, Nate Pearson. Adding George Springer and Marcus Simeon to a young core of guys is a huge boost and it'll be a huge boost for that offense. And I think that's going to win them a lot of games. So I have them the third best team in the AL and seven best team in the MLB. Sliding down to the number eight spot, I have the Twins. On paper, I don't think the Twins are going to be as good as the Yankees, Blue Jays, or White Sox. But regardless, they're going to be good. They're going to be competing with the White Sox for the AL Central. They're getting Nelson Cruz back. Hopefully he still does very good things for them. I just think they have some question marks at some positions, such as catcher and maybe a spot in the outfield that they need to sure up but they got Andrelton Simmons this offseason. The Twins will still be very good competing for that AL Central title. At number nine, I have the Astros, the sole team from the AL West on this list. I believe they're going to win the division out there in the West. The A's have a shot at it as well. I think it'll be those two guys competing for the spot. Regardless of losing a George Springer, they're still going to have Bregman, Correa, Altuve, and they're gonna have Brantley, Jordan, and Kyle Tucker. All those guys are going to mash for them. In their rotation, they lose Justin Verlander to Tommy John, but you're gonna have Zach Greinke, Framber Valdez, and Christian Javier. I think that'll be enough to get the job done during the season. The only issue is their bullpen is not very good in my opinion. So that's why I have them at number nine. At the 10 spot, I have the Rays. I think the Rays will be taking a step back this season. I predicted them to finish third in their division behind the Yankees and the Blue Jays. 
it's going to be some fierce competition out there in the AL East. I understand they made it to the World Series this year, but in the postseason, their bats looked shaky. And I believe in that 60 game stretch, that 60 game shortened season, um, some bats got hot, but I just don't think they'll be able to sustain that in a full season. And they're going to have to rely more than ever on their bullpen. So they'll see a lot of usage throughout the season. And I could see them potentially breaking down when you only got Tyler Glass now as your ace and piece that has been proven in your rotation that rounds out my top 10 power rankings before spring training and before the regular season starts let me know down in the comments what you think of this list move the yankees down to five push the braves and mets up white Sox are in the same spots i flipped the twins and blue jays and also flipped the astros and rays like i said earlier going forward i'll be making these videos more as the season goes on giving an update to my power rankings every now and then and then at the end of the season we can look back and see how foolish we were to rank maybe one of these teams in the top 10 that completely busts or overlooking a team that was not in the top 10. so don't forget to put your top 10 teams in the mlb right now down below in the comments make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more MLB content that will be on the way. With that being said, thank you for watching the video. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.